Hi guys, my name is Kelly. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited. This is my first video. I'm hanging out here with my dog Moop and we are currently sitting in our home which is a 2018 Ford Transit 250 medium roof that I converted so that way we can live in it full time and travel. I guess first, most importantly, we need to take you on a tour of our home. So come on, let's take a look. The first thing you're gonna see is that I have this magnetic bug screen. It is life, it is amazing. No mosquitoes getting in here. <laughs> when you walk up into the vehicle, you'll see that I have an adorable little succulent plant. I don't know how it's still alive. Over here is a hospital curtain rack that I repurposed so I could hang these curtains and separate the cab from the back of the vehicle for privacy. So this is a laundry bag. I love this too. I just unhinge and go. Got a little spray too so nothing be stanky up in here. Behind the laundry bag I just have some shoes. I have my laundry detergent hiding under the seat. I have my Reflectix window coverings. A table that I can set up. A guitar that I haven't learned to play yet. A trash can. A pop-up tent, a fire extinguisher, a little dustpan held on by Velcro, kitchen space. I guess let's start from down below. I love this fridge. This is a Dometic CRX 1050 fridge. Under here is my food storage. This is actually a single burner butane cooktop. I use it all the time. These are my two water jugs. They are three gallons each. Uh, this is my gray water. This is my fresh water. And then in the back there, I have a sink pump. P-trap works pretty well to contain the smells, but gotta have that air freshener just in case. All right guys, so I'll show you what is in my upper cabinet. So this first one is just all of my kitchen stuff. So I've got bowls, pots, pans, French press, strainer. Second one is personal hygiene stuff. So there's makeup remover wipes, makeup, deodorant, body spray, shampoo, conditioner. This one here is where my clothing starts. I won't go through all of these, but I basically have all of my pants in this one. And the last one is all of my towels. So I have a bunch of beach towels. Moving on to the kitchen area. On top, I just have a little fruit basket. I throw random crap in there sometimes, not gonna lie. This is a grab and go basket. It is held on by Velcro, so it doesn't fall off while I'm driving. Oh, this sink. This is 10 inches of deep sink. I love it. It's so good for two reasons. Number one, I can wash my hair. And the second reason, which is my favorite, is because I don't need to do the dishes every day. I can stack them in my sink. In fact, there are dirty dishes in my sink right now. I have two drawers for storage. This first one is oven mitts, utensils, cooking stuff, lighters, scissors. This one does not make me appear to be a minimalist. This is a junk drawer. Gorilla glue, magic eraser, tape, headphones, wires, a leave, first aid kit, deck of cards. Honestly, every day I'm taking something out of that drawer, so that's my excuse for having it. <laughs> this area has so many different functions. Uh, not only am I able to host people if I want to, sometimes I'll just hang out here, eat in here, just use this space for my laptop. I've got the outlets on both sides, the AC outlets, so I'm able to charge right up and hang out in this spot. This part comes down, it's on a pedestal mount, turns into a bed, and then I grab these back cushions and I put them in the middle on top of each other and it makes a nice flat surface for sleeping. my cactus. I can put my reading light on even though I don't read. I'll just sit on my phone. <laughs> Get my socks with my shoes. <laughs> oh. So I've got some 12 volt uh, lighting that is powered by my solar. Max Air Deluxe fan, the two-way fan. I freaking love this fan. I would not be able to survive without this fan. It would be ridiculously hot or cold in here at all times. Okay, on this side, I have all of my quick grab sort of things. The hook is pretty cool too. It actually has almost like a little grab on it, so it just makes it really easy to throw stuff up there. 
without it falling down when you're driving. Right here I have my dry toilet. I'm planning to get a little ottoman for it that I can stick it inside because it's kind of weird that it's just like hanging out there. <laughs> but here it is. I never use it, but it's there for emergencies. Behind here, a little secret compartment kind of, <laughs> is actually my solar battery. And as you can see, all the wires back there, they're kind of hidden and I can always access this battery area by lifting up these bench seats as well. I'm not going to do that right now, but you get the gist. All right, so let's go ahead and check out what's in the back of the vehicle. Got some National Park stickers. Down under here is mostly where I keep all of the quick grab stuff, such as a lantern, if I need a fuel. Um, funnel, I have tools, I have an air pump, you know, jumper cables, things like that. Over here I just have my tripod and my yoga mat. Um, this is Marley's box, so it's her harness, her shampoo, her poo bags. Then on this side, very important, this is actually the solar, so I have my charge controller, my 12 volt, volt uh, fuse panel, my AC inverter. So these are things that need to be monitored a decent amount. So that's why I have them on this side. And as you saw earlier, I had the batteries and all the ugly stuff on the other side. So it makes it look a little nicer. 